Hi students, in this class we are going to solve a numerical problem in the advantages of high transmission voltage. What is the percentage saving in feeder copper? If the line voltage in a 2 wire DC system is raised from 200 volt to 400 volt. For the same power transmitter over the same distance and having the same power loss. First of all, we will find out the loss in the system. From that, we will find out the area. From the area, we will find out the volume of the conductor. This is how we go here. Power P is equal to V into I. So P1 equals V1 I1. In the first case, the voltage is 200 volt. So it is 200 into I1. P2 is equal to V2 into I2. Here the voltage is raised to 400. So it is 400 into I2. It is given that P1 is equal to P2. So we can write 200 I1 equals 400 I2. So I2 can be written as I1 divided by 2. Now let us find out the power loss. W1 is equal to I1 square into R1. It is a 2 wire DC system. So the loss is 2 into I1 square R1. And W2 is equal to 2 into I2 square R2. Which is equal to 2 into what is I2? It is I1 by 2. So it is I1 square by 4 into R2. It is given that W1 equals W2. In both the cases, the power loss is same. So we can write 2 I1 square R1 equals 2 into I1 square by 4 into R2. So here this 2 I1 square getting cancelled. R1 equals R2 divided by 4. Or we can write R2 divided by R1 is equal to 4. As you know the resistance R is equal to rho L divided by area. So the resistance is inversely proportional to area of cross section. So we can write A2 divided by A1 equals 1 by 4. Next we have to find out the volume. As you know the volume equals area into length. But the length of the transmission line we cannot change. It is fixed. So volume is proportional to area of cross section. So we can write V2 divided by V1 is equal to 1 by 4. The percentage saving of copper equals V1 minus V2 divided by V1 which is equal to 1 minus V2 divided by V1 which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 this is equal to 0.75 or the saving of copper equals 75 percentage. 